Oh hi YouTube, and um, this is me, Bernard, Pharmacist Muscle, and um, coming back at you. And um, this is going to be the start of my video series. Hopefully, going to be bringing sort of a pharmacist aspect into this whole bodybuilding um, scene. And um, so, what I want to try and do differently from other people, um, you might notice like how a lot of other nutritional people, bodybuilders, they always give you advice but they don't really tell you the scientific reason behind things you know like the hormones all the signaling pathways behind stuff and so that's what I hope to um, bring from what I'm learning in pharmacy and from my research online and just let you guys know you know in a simplified scientific way why something happens you know why is it that like it's better to eat carbohydrates together with your protein meals why do people go on uh, low carb diets and why is that going to work you know there's always a reason behind that and that's what I hope to do for you guys I hope, that's why I want to um, explain to you guys in a really simplified way that you guys can understand you know but anyway um, what I'm going to start off with today is just a simple question you know why do bodybuilders bodybuild well to answer that question why bodybuilders bodybuild there actually isn't a simple answer it really depends on the person um, I'm sorry if that's a bit disappointing for anybody to hear, but I'll tell you personally, my um, want to start bodybuilding started about four years ago, and I didn't want to be a proper bodybuilder. Um, I thought it was sort of insane to actually get bigger like that, but what I did want was a six-pack, a shredded six-pack like what every girl wanted from in a guy, and I bet a lot of guys want a shredded six-pack. But I didn't know how to do it because I didn't have my diet sorted, didn't know what exactly what workouts to do, um, and I didn't know where to start. And so it wasn't two years later till I pushed myself to actually go to the gym, and I think that's a really key thing about bodybuilding. It's discipline, it's about motivation, it's about making yourself a stronger person and actually pushing yourself to do something. Um, but anyway... <laughs> So I pushed myself to actually go to the gym, and I was actually keeping it up. I I was actually going three, four times a week, but for six months, I didn't really realize what I was doing wrong. I wasn't getting any gains, and I think this is probably something common with a lot of people. You're not getting any gains, so obviously you must be doing something wrong. And what I figured out was I was just doing everything wrong, because I sort of knew by myself that I was half-assing a lot of my workouts, that I was only doing crunches or something, you know, halfway. I thought I could do a hundred push-ups by just um, floor humping, <laughs> um, but that's obviously not the way to do push-ups, and I was highly wrong, especially when I could only do like ten proper ones at the time. Um, but what you find out is that there's actually a lot more to bodybuilding. You know, there's a whole diet, there's a whole lifestyle behind it, and in a way, it's you actually appreciate it because there's a lot of things that go into it there's a lot of hard work and what you want to get out of it is that people notice it you know you want recognition and I think that's common with a lot of bodybuilders that they want recognition for their efforts and you might see it in the gym sometimes you know the big bodybuilders over in their section they're all helping each other out it's like a struggle to death basically and they're always complimenting each other and such you know that's because they appreciate it that's because they know how much effort it takes to put into it um, but you know there's other reasons as well um, there's competitive reasons I know some people lost to be Mr. Olympia size I personally lost to be Mr. Olympia size but that requires taking steroids I'm not gonna take steroids I don't want to grow like a cow like a big bull or something <laughs> um, but some people actually want to do that I wouldn't recommend steroids personally I've contemplated it but I probably wouldn't do it just because it's uncontrolled growth your body puts in its own hormones for a reason you know guys don't tamper with it it's not worth it um, you can still say maybe Jay Cutler or Ryan Coleman are healthy because they do a lot of cardio but I don't know there's actually no there's no evidence like to back up if they're gonna live a long time or not you know um, I think I'll do that in one of my later videos just to explain the health benefits and the health risks of steroids I'm personally going to say right now, do not take steroids, but I don't know, it might change. Uh, but anyway, that's a reason why I was bodybuilder is bodybuild. It's because it's a constant struggle. It teaches you discipline, motivation. You have to put yourself through physical pain. 
and it doesn't it sounds like a lot of effort but you know it's it's so rewarding in the end when you come out of the gym you feel all great when you see your results you feel absolutely great and especially when other people start saying stuff like are you on steroids or you gotten bigger or something like that it's that recognition from somebody else that makes you feel really good and that's why I highly promote bodybuilding you know because people will notice and if you got a really healthy lifestyle you'll notice it as well I wake up really easy in the morning now and um, I get plenty of sleep I just feel absolutely great you know I think everybody should do it I think there should be a law that says you should bodybuild but obviously that's a bit unrealistic but anyway that's I think should sum up why um, us bodybuilders bodybuild it's all about recognition it's all about keeping a healthy lifestyle it's all about just a constant struggle really it makes us happy inside you do what you do, you do all your hobbies because it makes you happy. Um, but anyway, like I said, I think I'll probably keep up this video series going on with explanations of different things. I want to try and explain, um, you know, low carb diets, um, what's the best way to lose fat, what's the best way to put on muscle, why to take steroids, why not to take steroids, and so on. If you guys have any ideas, just let me know and I'll hopefully get one that's one of those uh, scientific reasons for everything but anyway cheerio bye bye <laughs> oh and I also forgot one of the best reasons is just to be um, able to show off your muscle <laughs>